<laughs> yeah, I've been, on, I've been on a few dates off Bumble. Bumble's very interesting because, you know, the women pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. But then I get a lot of nobody believe I'm who I am. Like, you ain't him. And then, like, <laughs> and then they DM me on Instagram. Like, somebody pretending to be you right. on Bumble. Like, no, that's that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> and how are the dates? Yeah, I'm like, for Valentine's Day, you got something? I mean, I've, I've been on a few dope dates, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but... I don't know, man. What made it a dope day? Yeah. First of all, and I tell fellas this all the time, uh, you know, go to places you want to go to. So I, any day can be good if it's somewhere I want to go. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh. Don't get stuck somewhere you want to be at. <laughs> right. It's going right. to be fun. Okay, well, since you're on The Real, why don't you just let him know, what are you looking for? What am I looking for? Yes. Uh, at this point, loyalty. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you got to have a strong faith and belief in God. Oh. And, um... I don't know, and be okay. Like I got kids, you know. So like, you gotta have a you have mom energy. Yeah. Mom oh. energy. I like that. I like that. Mom energy. Yeah. Mom like that. energy. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Well, we're all really excited for your new movie, The Photograph. It looks super romantic. And since it's Valentine's Day, I have to ask this question: What's the most romantic thing that has ever happened to you? Oh. Mm. You you both can. Lakeith, you, you can go start first. with yeah, you. You got another flower in that pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine the most romantic thing that happened to me was sort of planted by me, I guess. I wanted to surprise this girl that I really liked, so I set up a bunch of fireworks around the house and I sort of linked them together so they would go off in a chain reaction and create oh. this spectacular experience. And so at first she was a little scared because yeah. it was in a district not uh, dissimilar to Crenshaw. Okay. <laughs> so she was like What's kind of on? shaken up about uh-huh. it. But then eventually when she came back, she realized it was just all good and games. And, and there was a cool union that formed from that moment. Oh, oh so okay. good. Little bro? I kind of got like a two-part answer. Because I think okay. like the most romantic thing done for me on Valentine's mm-hmm. Day is with my ex-wife, and I'm just being honest, I like the fact she used to listen to me. So she knew yeah. I loved the Rocky IV soundtrack. Okay. And uh-huh. she bought the CD, the Rocky Four soundtrack. I was so happy. Well, I am happy about this movie, The Photograph. It is a very romantic movie. It's a movie about us. How good does it feel to portray black love on screen? It's it's a beautiful thing. Like Lakeith and Issa has such beautiful chemistry along mm-hmm. with Shantae line. Like and then like even me and Tiana's, you know husband and wife. It's, and I, I like the fact that all the couples are different mm-hmm. and you're seeing different phases of it. Like my character is just like this, you know, he's his husband, his dad, and you're just seeing a happy family. Like sometimes we scared because we'll see a movie with black people like, all right, yeah. he finna cheat on her, gonna do something. Because uh-huh. they're doing, like for real, everything's so traumatic. Exactly. And this one is just a simple guy who loves his wife and they're the example for them to be with somebody. So it's real black love. Yeah. Lakeith, how does it feel? Uh, this isn't the first and won't be the last time we see black love up on the big screen. Yeah. This is a, a beautiful opportunity for us to explore through the lens of Stella Maggie, but yeah. we're going to keep on loving, and this is just going to be the result, and we're going keep, to keep this, keep this wheel turning because there's a lot of love out there, and so we hope eventually everybody could tell their story and everybody could have their love up on the big, big screen, and we're going to get there. Yeah. Well, you're working with my boss, Issa Rae, yeah. and, you know, you all have great chemistry on screen, but what were the cameras like? when they stopped rolling? Uh, it was great, you know, Issa's hard to, to, to dislike, as I'm sure you know, you know, she's a beautiful soul that was open. And you know, you could, there's many ways you can approach finding a chemistry with somebody. And for us, it just seemed to click immediately. We were mm-hmm. fans of each other's minds. And so then and everything else sort of flows in after that. Did you have to pull a rose out your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I, I tend to do that no matter where I'm yeah. at. Good to know, oh. good to know. Well, we actually have a clip from the photograph. Let's take a look. Y'all came in that storm. That storm is crazy. What, what, what'd y'all do when the power went out today? Um. Um. Okay, well, okay. next what topic. What those sounds about? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, with, you know, she did the little sip and smile thing, like. Mm. Leave her alone. <laughs> no, but we husband. all grown. Look, if y'all did it, y'all did it. It ain't a big deal. People do it all the time. This is the best do it weather. <laughs> <laughs>